let me give you a formal introduction as to who I am so you can get a better understanding of where I'm coming from. I am Mondo One. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm hip hop. Uh, the Temple of Hip Hop. About five years ago, I started with the Temple of Hip Hop. I joined an apprenticeship in Los Angeles, met the teacher, and uh, was given an opportunity to, to really become something, something that I wasn't already. And, 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 you know, and I said, hey, let, let's see what it is. I went, it was, uh, it was, you know, it was scary at first. It was a, whatever, whatever uh, insecurities a person might have about stepping into a, a particular environment, you know, and, and everything that comes with that. I had to deal with that, you know, but for the most part, it was definitely an adventure, it still is. Um, so, my role in hip hop, you know, I, I, you know, I asked myself, okay, so, you know, I'm, I'm hip hop and I'm here and I see all this, you know, I know rapping and, you know, I know about MCing and I know about graffiti art and I know about DJing and beatboxing, but why, like, what is it about these particular things, these elements and these, you know, this culture, this activity, like, you know, what's so special about hip hop and, and you know, and, and what is this temple of hip hop and, you know, what is this thing, you, you know, trying to preserve a culture and you're trying to preserve, and the more I got into it, it started like, it was more of a reflection or a mirror uh, on myself, onto myself. This is really about preserving me, the individual, the person that is hip hop. I am the idea, I'm, I'm, I'm the, uh, I'm animating, I'm the animating essence. I'm the person that's doing the hip hop. I'm hip hop ing, hip hop being. I'm that. I'm that thing. And when I realized that, everything around me started to change because I realized that I can transform subjects and objects, situations, people who would have been like a, a stumbling block or a, or a blockage in my road. You know, in, from a hip hop perspective, it, it, you can transform anything to be anything. Oh yeah, everybody can get down. Yeah. Um, so, for example, like what I'm what I'm saying is, like, take for example this chair. This is a very uh, 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 this is this is uh, this is one of the lessons of the Temple of Hip Hop. One of the teachings is how to transform subjects and objects to your advantage. Uh, this chair is no is, it can all, is, isn't only a chair; it could also be used as a ladder. You know, just you know, follow, 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 try to follow me. Um, this chair is not only a, a, a ladder, but it's all, it could be somebody's bed, or it could do you know incredible things in terms of you know uh, uh, you can use this to protect yourself. You can do many different things with anything. You can change the meaning of things to your benefit, and, 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 and for you to uh, to reach what you're trying to reach. Um, so I took that in, and I was like, all right, cool. So you know, I, I uh, I'm hip hop, and you know, I'm doing this, and I started encountering situations, and I'm like. How am I how am I benefiting from this whole hip hop situation? And I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, well, I didn't go to school. Um, I mean, I did go to school. I went to school for graphic design and multimedia. Let me say that first. I went to school. I went to high school. Graduated high school. Was into art. You know, graph writing. Uh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm by nature. I'm, 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 I'm a graffiti artist. Uh, I don't, you know, uh, I, I, that's one of the things that, that, that I'm good at. Um, graph writing, and, you know, I was like, okay, so I went to school, I paid like this $24,000 for a two year uh, associate's degree. I thought, uh, you know, uh, this was in 2002, so, you know, 2002, you know, computers, you know, things were changing, you know, uh, graphic design was really excelling, the internet was, was, was going through a transitional period. Everybody was doing. Uh, graphic design, at least where I came from, most of the people were into graphic design. I kind of took it as an easy way out as well from having to go through the, through the process of going to school. I didn't really didn't know what I wanted to do. You know, um, before I got into that, I was into, um, I was always in sales. I was always working somewhere. I sold cars. I sold door-to-door -door direct TV. And, you know, I did all many different, different types of things. And I realized that what I was doing I wasn't really benefiting to myself. Like myself wasn't benefiting. I was working. I was really jobbing as opposed to working. Jobbing it pertains to you know you working for somebody else, benefiting another person's company or interest. Working pertains to uh, your purpose in life, and that's when the real question started hitting. Like the real, real, real question started. I started asking myself, and I was, and real things, 
reality started hitting me. I was like, okay. So I'm running around here, I got a little skill, I need to get some money, you know, I'll use my, my ability to, to speak and talk to people and try to connect and really try, really get a paycheck. It's really what I was trying to do. I was going to school. And, you know, even when you go to school, you're not guaranteed a position uh, once you graduate. You're not guaranteed anything. You, you are the one that determines, you know, the outcome of the expense that you're putting out. You know, uh, once you get a degree, uh, you know, you're out there, you have to fend for yourself. That's basically the, that's the truth of what the education si uh, system is, or the institution is. We give you the knowledge and then you go out and you, and you do it. In my opinion, the, the, the flaw in that, and this is my opinion because it's through my experiences, is that old philosophies or, or, or old Old, um, old, 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 really, um, curriculum, should I, what's the best word, I'm trying to find the right word to say this, but. Paradigm. What? Paradigm. Ideology. 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 Paradigm. Ideology. Thank you. Doesn't necessarily work for me. You know, I needed something that, that, that I could understand, go, that I could see, and I could perceive it, and then be it, you know, like. I just, it just didn't work for me. So, so what I did, I was like, okay, so let me do this, this temple of hip hop. You know, I started learning about uh, visualization, self creation. I started, uh, I started learning about, um, uh, I started learning about the the ability to, like I said, transform subjects and objects. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, what is the purpose of what I'm doing? Like, why am I doing this? You know, and, 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 you know, the degree that I got, I really wasn't doing too much with it. It's still, I have it, I have my degree. Uh, I, have, I, have, I have all the certificates that I, that I earned, but I'm not, I, will not, I wasn't really making anything of it. So, what I'm saying is, is that you, the individual, has the ability to create whatever reality you want to create. And if you don't have a particular character, that people like. It's not enough to have a skill, but if people don't like you, you know, uh, for, you know like for example, yesterday, you saw, most of you probably saw me running around like crazy. I was on stage, I was running the sound engineer, I was dealing with the promoter, I was dealing with the, with the staff, I was dealing with artists, I was dealing with fans, I was dealing with, 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 with people uh, there, and there's other people in the industry that do the same thing that I do. The people that are in the industry that do what I do, not too many people like certain people or those people because of the way that they act towards other people. You know, you have to have a particular character or a personality that people can actually relate to. You know, if, if you're up there and, for example, even if you're in a position where you have to you know, you have to get a job done, and at the same time, you're dealing with a group of people who all are in the same environment as you. Some of them might be going for your own position that you're even in at that particular moment. They're studying you. They're waiting for you to fall. They're waiting for you to mess up. They're waiting for something. They're waiting for an opportunity. There's nothing wrong with that, but the person like myself or yourself in that situation, you gotta, you got to rise above that, and you really got to look at the situation. And... The thing about, there's a thing about empowering the people around you. The people that are, you know, the thing about, uh, uh, you know, there's, a, there's an example at the Temple of Hip Hop that we teach as well, where um, if a person has, if two people are together and one person has value and the other person, well, actually, everything's broken. One person has a skill and the other person has the ability to, to communicate with those around them to express and show, hey, look, we got value here. That concept raises a community. It raises a group of people with a particular interest. You're not just in it for yourself. You're bigging your, you're bigging your friend up, your partner, and then you, just, and you, you, know, you excel to, to, to heights that you, know, you probably wouldn't have reached if you, didn't, if you weren't stuck on stupid, so to speak. So this is, a, this, is a mess, this is my message to you guys. There is a particular character that people should inherit, or I mean, just in, in hip-hop, really. I can only really speak uh, for, for, for hip-hop. There is a character that is required for longevity in this environment. And 
it's all it's it's the perception of it is a godlike uh, perception, and I say God, and, I, and I'll say it again, God, 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 uh, because if you really think about what the characteristics of God is, and you apply that character onto yourself, everybody around you, by nature, is going to benefit from it. Yourself, your friends, even your enemies, if you have enemies, you know. Uh, but you can change the perception of that as well. It's all about perception and it's all about your character and how you perform. Everybody here, I'm sure, is majoring in one thing or another and five years down the road, two years down the road, you may not keep the same, you may not be eating by way of the thing you're studying now and that's a question that the temple of hip hop can answer if you, if you, if you, wanna, if you wanna hear it. If you, if, you know, um, that's extremely important. So that's my message to you guys, you know, uh, you know uh, your character, your skill, what are you doing? If you're in hip hop, in this particular environment, there is no limit. You know, you, 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 you're, everybody's connected to another person, everybody is two phone calls away, everybody is, you know, we're all really going or aspiring to be in the same position, and that's to be in peace to have love, uh, to be unified, to have joy in our life, to be healthy, to have wealth. And, and that's something that hip hop naturally is, and, and so are you. So with that said, I, I thank you for coming out. I thank you for your guys' support yesterday. And um, yeah, that's it. All right. Give it up to yourself. Excellent. Um, let me jump right in.